can get with this, cause this is where it's at. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to This Is It. Thank you so much for joining. We are here to do another reaction to Samantha Fox. Naughty Girls Need Love Too. And let me tell you, this song was recorded by the English singer Samantha Fox, which I already said that. It's her self-titled album, came out in 1987. It's her only single that came out in oh, 1987. Wow. And supposedly, this was a collaboration between Samantha Fox and the hip-hop group Full Force. So somehow they oh. came together and did this song. And no, it was not one of the big songs RV. of the year. I had never heard the song before. I have no idea. It's one of the biggest songs of the year, but... It totally skipped my radar. But anyway, can't do this without the crew. Phenom 202, what say you? Phenom 202, DDA representative. Yo, when this song came out, I was pubalescent. I didn't, I, I wasn't a teenager yet. I was like, okay, who's this lady? But then, you know, found you out that. Find that one. Because I was like, Pubal, what? But go ahead. Oh, damn. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> that's, so, what, uh, to, that's what I get. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so when this, when I only knew her from uh, having like some risque photos, some new photos coming out back in the eighties, and that was the big thing back then. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, okay, this lady. But then her music came out, and you know she she rode at the fame, yo. So I've never seen this yeah. video. Really want to see it. So let's get it. At full force. I've never seen anything. You know I, mean? I have no idea who she is, but I did do a little bit of digging, and you are right. She. There is a, a British magazine similar to the National Enquirer over here in the United States, and they have a nudie section on page three, and it was called The Sun. I think that's what it was called. So um, that's kind of like her claim to fame is she posed nude on page three of this British tabloid type of uh, magazine they had over there. And then she kind of jolted into a, a singing career. So this is going to be pretty cool, man. But before we do that, Ali is back. Go ahead, Ali. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I, I keep on kicking out the score. I fucking up. Yo, it's all karma for me trying to make bad jokes. It all comes back in the end. So I'm just going to tell the folks, don't be naughty out there. Get on the on the nice list. Join the Facebook group. Comment. Uh, the comment is going to be pinned down below. It's going to be in the description, a link you can click on. Join the Facebook group. It's hard to, to go through all these YouTube comments. We get like hundreds and thousands, actually, shit, it might be thousands a day at this time. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you want a song suggestions for us to react to, go to the Facebook group, join it, This Is It Media, and we'll have a post there where you can reply to, post your song that you want us to react to. As long as they get the most likes, we're going to do in the future. So as far as Samantha Fox, I'm not going to lie, I'm not familiar with her at all, not familiar with her work, not familiar with this song. But now that Either. Corey mentioned this H3 shit, like I might have to go get familiar with the work after this. So, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Samantha. Well, might have to. But before we do that, let's get into the work that we do know. So, are you guys ready for this? They're going to do it in three, two, one, go. Naughty girls need love. <laughs> Yeah, I like the beat so far. They're good. Watch full force. That was full force right there. Now you got me 
I can definitely tell the full force influence. I mean, clearly, I mean, they're in the video because they did produce the song. Um, because I've, I've heard, you know, producers tend to have their style. So that's mm -hmm. what I mean when I say the full force influence, because it does sound very similar to some of the songs I heard from Lisa Lisa in the Coke Jam, like the same drum pattern and the break. You know, that's what I mean. So if you go back and listen to Lisa Lisa in the Coke Jam, uh, their early hits, you can kind of uh, see the similarities in their style, their drum pattern and stuff like that. But it's a good song. I, I do like the song. Um, It's great. Um, The lyrics are cool. I mean, Full Force but do it. The lyrics are cool. I love the hook when it goes dun, 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 dun. I, I think that's all great. Um, Is Samantha Fox the best singer? No, but she sings good enough for this record. And I think um, I think it's a great song. I, I see why this song was one of the biggest songs of the year. But how I never heard this song, I have no idea. But I think it's I think it's a, not a bad song at all. I, I actually do do like the song. So who will jump in first, Ali or Phenom? Which one will go first, Phenom? Go ahead. Oh, you gonna let me, oh, you gonna let me go. I, go ahead, I go ahead, Ali. Go ahead. I mean, I like the song. I, I like the lot of songs pretty good. I mean, so much. It's more so I, I like the music behind the song. I mean, mm -hmm. she was mm -hmm. like, I mean, but I ain't the lie. You probably could just do anybody in there, which yeah. Is, so it's heavily influenced want, by Full Force. Yeah. So a couple of things. First off, Corey said that Full Force was a hip hop group at the beginning of this video. They're definitely not a hip hop group. <laughs> they are an R&B no, group. No, they're not. That's yeah, what so, Google wrote. <laughs> you, I was reading you, what you, Google wrote. You, you know, Corey Google pulled wrote. the ball. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. What's your boy? Uh, what's Will Ferrell? Uh, the newscaster. You know, Anchorman. Just, you know, Anchorman. Robert. Robert. Rob Burgundy, Rob Burgundy, Rob Burgundy, Burgundy. just ran along. What's up on the teleprompter? What, no matter what, what it says, it's on the teleprompter. <laughs> yeah. So they are definitely not a hip hop group. Uh, Hollywood DDA back for this video. Yo, if you want to ever be played, portrayed as a gang member, I don't know if you, in any music video in the 80s or 95% uh, movies in the 80s, if you want to be a gang member, you have to wear a string wife beater and be able to do a pair of wet. <laughs> <'Cause>... 
<laughs> Why? What is it with all these eighties? Like these, like these eighties videos. Like they really be having these gang members out here. Like you can name the Kevin. most, yeah, the, the craziest shit. Yeah, and I will say, real. but it's probably like that all the way up to like. Uh, I think the only eighties movie that like did decent as far as like with street people look. Well, I say street people like homeless. I'm just talking with people just like. The hip young young people that be out yeah, in the urban. streets and the urban, there you go. It was like Beat Street, yo. Beyond that, yo, everything like if you look at like break in and this and that, like these motherfuckers out here wearing the, the silliest <laughs> shit on earth. <laughs> There's this copy and like what the motherfucker like Fears Five and all when they was all dressing up tight almost, they yeah. just tempered it down. Like, no, those were stage costumes. Like people in the streets Correct. weren't wearing that shit. Like right, but, right. Yeah, yeah, shout out to the 80s, yo. Pirouettes and string A shirts. Because you can't say white pages anymore. Or about string A shirts. Phenom. Yeah, Phenom. What's your thoughts, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, she, she went I, first, bro. I, come on, yo. <laughs> Look, I'll try to bring it back home, yo. Um, I can see like her riding this song, like riding her, her nudity to fame. Yeah, well, she man, you no, know, no. I can see why, yo. She's an attractive woman. I can mm-hmm. see why she was uh, like everybody wanted a, a piece of that. You know what I'm saying? As far as musically and all that other stuff. Yeah. But um, the video was was dumpster juice though. I'm not gonna lie, yo. <laughs> I, I love the song. The song was a good song, yo. I can see how it went to three number three on the Billboard. Yeah. yeah. You know, the content. She was, it was like a kind of rebellious kind of song because you know. Women really couldn't talk about that type of stuff back then, like yeah, that. Yeah. So that just had to say. It's kind of got like that Madonna <laughs> type thing. You know, it's, it's tipping on that Madonna thing because Madonna really talked about that edgy stuff that women couldn't talk about. So go ahead. I'm yeah. sorry. But, but, she, but, she, no, but she played into it because she was already, you know, had yeah. new photos out there. She's like, I'm going to lean into it. And she did in full force. Yeah. You know, back then, they was they put the battery in a lot of people back, yo. Oh, and my gosh. Some, yeah. They had some good I didn't realize uh, they had production. produced as many people that, yeah. that they did. And, I mean, yeah. it, it is common. I mean, not so much. I mean, just from her, she did maybe. I mean, that there, I don't know, flack of better, better term, UK Playboy type of shit or whatever. But even nowadays, like people, like you get hot for one thing, they'll put like, like, oh, let's just make a song, like see what happens. You know what I mean? That's that's mm-hmm. why I took this as she was probably hot. She was, you know, what I mean, tabloids mm-hmm. and stuff. It's like mm-hmm. let's make a song, see what happens. That yeah. was, it, actually, this song did numbers, so. I, I wonder yeah. what happened after this. Well, well she, she still did stuff. The full force wasn't behind any other shit. Because like, honestly, this was this should have been a nice ticket for them to get paid. They should have just rolled this out. They should have been like, yo, we just keep produce you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, honestly, I mean, she, I mean, she had the look. They were clearly the force behind making this song great. This song, I mean, yeah. her as a solo artist, I don't think she's going to make it. She needs full force no, to. I mean, to yeah. Because you said it earlier, anybody could have been on this record. She yeah. does not elevate the song. Yeah. She's singing in place of what Full Force has already kind of done for her. Yeah, she's just exactly. singing in the box. So she's not doing anything different. She just needs to be Samantha Fox. Yeah, so, exactly. um, you know, just, but yeah, if Full Force, they probably could have rode this one to the bank if they wanted to, but it just depends. If you just never know why yeah. nothing I mean, more ever happened yeah. after this. She, and she was across the uh, across the pond, as they say. Was. So. Yeah. So yeah, I'm looking at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six songs in a Billboard 100. Oh, damn. Well, there you go. Oh. Well, she did all well, right then. She did six right. songs in a Billboard 100. Did any of them cross 50 after this one? Because this is a pretty big hit. And three did the of rest them. Even three of the six did. No, well, that's all right. So she had a nice career okay. then. So shout out okay. to her. She yo. had a decent career. So okay, okay. Shout out Samantha to her. Fox. Fox. I'm not, I wasn't familiar with your work, baby. But now, uh, like, Me well, I will, I will later. Where's the lotion? <laughs> Page three. <laughs> 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 well anyway thank you guys so much if you know any of the songs from samantha fox because we clearly don't let us know on facebook in the chat and if people vote for it then we'll do it as always thank you guys so much if you made it this far don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel i'm Corey royce hollywood da being on 202 i hope i did that right and we'll be back at you with another reaction samantha samantha or you can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this, or you can get with that. You can get with this.
Or you can get with that. I think you'll get with it.